This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated October 29th, 2145. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia. But I have to receive any additional data from the psychiatrists back on Earth. Options are quickly quickly. Approximately 80% of all extraplanar participants exhibit signs of mild neuroses within the first Making 48 hours after returning from the their journey is futile. Within 72 hours, 75% of patients exhibit extreme signs of paranoid delusion and violence. We have isolated these cases in hopes of finding the pathogen. As yet, we can find no biological impact to such drastic changes in the human body. It seems that whatever this pathogen is, it attacks higher brain function and only leaves more basal functions in the lower brain stem. We've witnessed that a high percentage of subjects lose ability for rational thought and communication skills, and then the physical changes become evident. Subjects in this group appear to atrophy. Skin pales, muscles become slack, bone, teeth, and fingernails become almost translucent, veiny sinews of their former selves. I have never seen anything like this in my career. Our observation. Who's there? Oh, thank God. You're not one of them. I thought everyone else was gone. I... I was part of this. I helped them. The madness of opening to another dimension. Look, I, I don't... We don't have much time. We let it through. The evil. The protective stabilizer on the portal just failed after Petruger took the device. It, it was an artifact we had found in the ruins. He took it into the portal. And hell followed him out. You have to help me first. I'm going to try to get the teleporter systems running again. The areas are destroyed around us, so it's the only way through this part of the complex. You need to find me a working plasma inducer. It's all I need to get the teleporter working. You can look for it. Decontamination process. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. November 2nd. <laughs> Patient is the private Steve Jackson of the AC Darklight Armor Corps Division expired yesterday at 1543. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid symptoms and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. Initial psychiatric interviews suggested only mild psychosis with speech and motor activity of
Pylon systems deactivated. Log for Phil Wilson, medical technician, Delta Labs, October 20th, 2145. Today I witnessed the third test of the teleporter in the three weeks that I've been here. They all come back screaming like loons, not demons. It's blood. Real fire and brimstone stuff. At first I wasn't paying much attention, just doing my job, but the last was Robert Clayton. Now, I met him my first day here. This guy chews up rocks and spits out gravel. He's tough as they come. Having to sedate him and drag his drooling body to the isolation, it's really freaked me out. I'm gonna put in for a transfer as soon as I'm able. As requested, the following is my initial feedback on my first trip through the portal. Private First Class Frank Cinders, dated October 15th, 2145. I, uh, I don't know exactly where to begin. Obviously, I survived the first trip and feel no worse for wear. I'm not feeling any of the symptoms reported by the others who have gone in before me. Thankfully, the place looks deserted, devoid of any life, but, uh, the flames and heat and stench in place. It smells of death, hay, and burnt flesh. Tomorrow, we're going back in with some of the eggheads, um, science division. We start securing forward positions, and we expect to start sending out the mapping droids at the same time. Well, I must admit on a personal note that I, I, I've got a really, really bad feeling about this. I don't understand what we're doing there or, or what we hope to prove. PFC Cinders, signing off.
Get that plasma inducer, quickly! Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Systems activated. Teleportation is minus for T minus three. Two.
Interesting. Ah, you surprised me. I'm glad to see you. I would have hoped they would have sent more than just one guy, though. I've been studying one of the specimens we brought back, to see if there's something physiological that would be a weakness, a way to stop them. I found nothing so far. Haven't had enough time. I'm gonna stay here and keep looking. It's the only thing I can do. There are combat supplies in the storage cabinet in the next room. The code is 624. I hope you can use it. stasis chambers. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra-dimensional beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests originating from Delta Level 3. While little is known about their native environment, the specimens appear to be carbon-based with extremely high components. The epidermal tissue is extremely resilient to abrasion or incision, which is complicated in terms observational studies have shown incredible strength and agility, as well as the ability for some specimens to resist and control the release of plasma muscles. The method by which these plasma masses are created is unknown. It is believed that the specimens possess a 
see before you is a relic codenamed U1, or simply Soul. It was discovered in 2104, located in the evidence of all lost civilization. We know nothing of this civilization other than they existed, and that they were all wiped out in some type of cataclysmic event, according to what we believe. I have the soul cube in hell, and you will never find it. Thank you.